Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about the poem Grandma Climbs a Tree. To understand a poem, first let us try to understand the poet. The poet's name is Ruskin Bond. He was born in Kasauli in Himachal Pradesh in 1934. Ruskin Bond now lives in Masauri, a hill station near Dehradun in Uttarakhand. He wrote his first novel, The Room on the Roof. when he was 17 years old he also published it at a very young age by 20 or 21 years his book got published so very young age he started writing and publishing books and he has written more than 30 books for children grandma climbs a tree shows bond's greatest ability to enjoy unusual events and actions in his autobiography scenes from a writer's life bond talks about his calcutta granny as a strange person who sat along in the evenings playing patience a card game here what we understand is what type of relationship bond had with his family and what type of uh, relationship he had with his grandma though his grandma was not a conventional grandma like all the other grandmas who tell stories uh, to their grandchildren and spend their time cooking or knitting she was not like that she was little different from all the other grandmas that is what he wants to say here so let us have a look at the poem the first paragraph is my grandmother was a genius you would like to know why because she could climb trees spreading or high she would be up their branches in a trice and mind you when last she climbed a tree she was 62 ever since childhood she had had this gift for being happier in a tree than in a lift the poet says that his grandmother is a genius and uh, you know the why it is that he called as a genius because she could climb trees now see genius means something that is inborn it's an inborn talent it is not acquired by practice but it is already in a person okay it is like a creativity or a high level of intelligence that comes by birth so she had this ability from her birth that she was very good in climbing trees no matter what kind of trees if she was versatile she could climb a spreading tree or a high tree the type of the tree was not important she could just climb the tree in a trice trice means in a moment in a just uh, in a flash she could climb the tree and climbing a tree at the age of 62 now that was very fabulous or something fantastic that was she could climb at this age when normally people of that age will be retiring from all adventure and all physical activity and resting and relaxing she used to enjoy climbing trees not only that ever from since her childhood she had a special gift to be happy on a tree like uh, she would not like to be indoors see there are two things there we can uh, think about when they say for being happier in a tree than in a lift means one while climbing up and down a stairs old people and most of the people prefer going by a lift than to do some hard work there but uh, she was not like that she enjoyed the hardship of climbing up a tree and she was happier staying on a tree than staying indoors the second paragraph is as follows and though as years went by she would be told that climbing trees should stop when one grew old and that growing old should be gone about gracefully she would laugh and say well i will grow disgracefully i can do it better and we had to agree for in all the garden there wasn't a tree as time passed uh, people started advising her that she should stop climbing trees because as old age approaches people should appear respectful and they should not do activities which look disrespectful for their age they should be more patient they should be slow in their movements they should be graceful in their movements that's what people expect and when she was told this she would say that she would enjoy to be the right opposite of doing graceful things and she can still do better than all the others who act gracefully and everybody had to agree with her because she could do it better the climbing of tree she could better at this ripe age also because there was not one tree in the garden which she had not climbed means she had almost climbed every tree that's available in the garden even at this age of 62 then the third para goes like this 
she hadn't been up at one time or another this is a continuation from the last line of the second paragraph okay if you read second paragraph you will uh, see that there was not even one tree in the garden huh? from there it continues that she hadn't been up at one time or another having learned to climb from a loving brother when she was six but it was feared by all that one day she would have a terrible fall the outcome was different while we were in town she climbed a tree and couldn't come down so here what we see is that she had a brother when she was just six years old and he was the one who inspired her and taught her how to climb a tree she learned it from her brother but uh, what everybody thought was different they thought that at this age if grandma tries to climb tree and if she falls then what will happen of her so everybody was worried about such an incident if it occurs but something strange happened in fact grandma did not fall down from a tree but strangely she could not come down by herself then the doctor was called and what happened hence we will find in the next paragraph the fourth paragraph says after the rescue the doctor took granny's temperature and said i strongly recommend a quiet week in bed we sighed with relief and tucked her up well poor granny for her it was like a brief season in hell confined to her bedroom while every breeze whispered of summer and dancing leaves here what we see is the whole family helped grandma to come down and the doctor was called to check on her what the doctor said was that she needed quite time in the bed see there may be a reason for this grandma had gone up the tree with all enthusiasm but maybe she did not want to come back maybe she did not want to land up back on the earth she just wanted to stay on the tree this also might have given rise to a fever so the doctor asked her to rest however this was a moment of relief for everybody so they gave a sigh of relief sigh means a deep breath when you give out when you are in relief there is a problem and suddenly you come up with a solution and you are relaxed you give up a deep breath that is called as a sigh so everybody gave a sigh of relief and then everybody helped grandma to tuck in into a bed tucking in somebody to bed means helping them to lie down in the bed and covering up with blankets and everything to make them comfortable that is called tucking in bed so they all helped grandma to be tucked in the bed but for grandma we can imagine how difficult that would be because staying one week in the bed would be really hell for her see hell is a place where everybody believes there is a lot of torture for the sins they have done the mistakes they have done but here uh, grandma felt it as a torture to just stay inside you remember she had told she doesn't like to be in a lift means indoors is something that she doesn't like it's almost like a hell for her when the wind and the breeze that uh, used to blow into her room they whispered of the summer and the leaves danced outside see the rustling of the leaves and the leaves flying around in the uh, summer wind this all as personified here the poet uses personification when he says whispered of summer see breeze cannot whisper like a human being but it is breeze is personified here and leaves are personified as dancing which is an attribute of human being so grandma suffered her time staying confined into the room confined means uh, you are restricted to one given place that is called as confined so grandma was confined in a room so this is the effect that she felt almost like going through hell let us continue with uh, the next paragraph but she held her peace till she felt stronger then sat up and said i will lie here no longer and she called for my father and told him undaunted that a house in a tree top was what she now wanted my dad knew his duties he said that's all right you will have what you want dear i will start work tonight 
the meaning of uh, the sentence she held her peace see holding one's peace means staying silent till something occurs like waiting for something that is called holding a peace so she held her peace till she was stronger she waited then she sat up in the bed she told one thing very clearly i will no longer stay inside i would if you want me to stay in one place then do one thing make a tree house for me at the tree top so when she told her son about this she was very undaunted undaunted means not at all discouraged daunted means discouraged so undaunted means not at all discouraged she bravely told her son that she wanted a tree house so these tree houses are small wooden houses which are constructed on top of a tree so there may be different situations where this has to be done people who stay in jungles sometimes uh, make tree top houses so that they can be safe from wild animals and uh, at backyards of many big houses sometimes children uh, for playing also will have some tree houses parents make tree houses for the children as a play area also when uh, ruskin bond's father that is grandmother's son when he heard about this request he immediately agreed he said i know what my duties are see he was a very dutiful son so he said immediately he agreed for the request and he said i will get to it right now don't worry mother mother dear i will start the work tonight itself we will not delay this here we see the commitment of the family members in ruskin bond's family how his father readily agreed for this that shows how much love and affection and commitment is there in their family coming to the last paragraph with my expert assistance he soon finished the chore made her a tree house with windows and a door so granny moved up and now every day i climb to her room with glasses and tray she sits there in state and drinks sherry with me upholding her right to reside in a tree here the poet says that with along with his expert assistance that is in a funny way in humorous way he says he uses humor to say that though he was not assisting much his father still finished the chore chore means any household work any regular work that we do so this was not considered as a big favor that he is doing he just did it for his mother ruskin bond's father did the work like everyday chore like uh, cleaning the dust bin or washing the vessels or uh preparing the food or something like that so it was done just like that and they made a tree house with proper windows and door so that she can accommodate very comfortably so granny moved up she moved up means so when we go from one place to another place and settle down there nicely we call it as moving so here granny moved up to the tree top and now every day it was ruskin bond's duty to climb up the tree house and uh, supply her food and drink whatever she required so he used to always carry the glasses and tray that is for her refreshment and he says that she sat there in state state actually means a, a condition in which person stays or here it can also mean that a very dignified position state also can mean like a governmental position or somebody in a very high position is there so highly designated person so here humorously he may be saying that uh, when she sat with so much dignity at the top because she loved to stay there and she felt that it was very dignified to stay on the uh, tree house in the tree house on the tree top along with uh, her grandson she used to say, sit there and uh, they used to drink sherry sherry is a kind of uh, wine they make out of white grapes there uh, in those parts they drink regularly so they used to share some good moments together and upholding a right to reside on a tree means she felt it it is her birth right to stay on the tree it was not some punishment or it was not forced by somebody it actually meant that for her it was a birth right and that's all she wanted and she felt that she was in a very high state at that the poem gives us a different views it gives us different perceptions of how life can be even at an old age a person who has a wish and the determination to do something 
दे कैन डू समथिंग एक्स्ट्रॉडिनरी लिविंग लिविंग इन अ ट्री हाउस ऑन टॉप ऑफ अ ट्री एट द एज ऑफ सिक्सटी टू नो दैट इज एन अचीवमेंट